Hi, welcome to another Plasma screencast. Today we're going to be taking a look at Phase and Animator. They're two bits of technology that work together. To give you uh, an idea of the problem they're supposed to be solving, we're going to start playing with these menus up at the top of Dolphin. Now, as you notice when I click and unclick them, the menus just appear and disappear. On the classical scale, which say not the quantum mechanics scale, but the classical scale, this is a very unnatural sort of event. Things don't appear and disappear in the normal world. In fact, when we see someone make something appear or disappear, or appear to anyways, we call that magic. And that's the whole idea, you know, behind one of the things that makes a lot of uh, magic shows so neat is they're doing things that just we can't explain. They're, they defy our experience. And what's unfortunate is most of, of modern desktop software tends to defy our experience by doing things such as making things appear and disappear. If you saw Rufy's recent screencast, he showed the new icons we have on in Plasma. And he showed off our little appearing and disappearing icons here on Hover. And if you notice, they fade in and fade out really nicely. Now, as a someone who might be thinking about writing something for Plasma, you might be wondering how hard is it to make those kinds of things happen? As a user or a system administrator, you might be going well, what if I don't like that animation? Or what if I'm you know, using a networked thin client and those animations are just gonna kill my network bandwidth? Well, this is where Phase Animator comes in. It makes it both A, very simple to do these kinds of animations, and it allows the user or system administrator to adjust the visual effects of the desktop. So if you are in, say, a thin client, we can easily get rid of these animations. To demonstrate this, I'm using the default animator plugin right now. The animators are plugins that provide the actual animation work. And I'm just going to disable this completely for right now. And I'm going to restart my plasma here. And I'm going to drag that icon back to the desktop. Great. Now if you notice, the icon just appears and disappears. There's no fading, there's no effects. It's We're back to the magic show again. How does this work? Well, phase manages the lifespan of animations. Objects, such as this icon, ask for an animation to occur. They register an animation. And phase then says, OK, I'm going to start animating this. It then uses the, anim the animator plugin, or in the future will allow multiple plugins to allow uh, someone to uh, mix and match effects. But it looks at the animator plugin that's loaded and, and says, OK, how many frames should I be animating this at <clears throat> per second? And then it says, OK, can you do part of the animation now? Can you do part of the animation now? And it, it does this using a timeline. Every time that the animation updates, it asks the, uh, the object itself to paint uh, again with the new uh, results for the animation. So if you're writing an object, such as, say, an icon, what you do is you want to start an animation of some sort. So in this case, we're doing an element animation, which means we're animating just a part of the whole. There's also entire object animations, but this is an element animation. We're just animating one part of the whole. So we say we uh, say to phase, hey, let's start an, el an element animation. We pass in ourselves so it knows who to talk to when this animation is, is going on. And then we tell it what kind of animation we want. We want an element to peer. We then associate a pix map with this animation, and that's it. On leave, uh, when the mouse leaves it, it's a similar event. We stop the animation if there is any. We start uh, an, 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 an animation again, uh, this time with element disappear. And you notice that it actually gives us back an ID. This is going to be important in a few seconds here. So we then, again, associate a pix map with it. Now, if we go back up to our paint method, this gets called every time the animation updates. Or if you have more than one animation, it'll get called uh, several times, one for each animation. And what we do here is we, we ask for the animation result. And we hand in that ID that it gave us. At that point, we're done. We just say, hey, paint the animation result. And phase will ensure that we get called as many times as necessary to make the animation occur. So the built-in animator for appear and disappear says, oh yeah, I don't do any frames. And so phase goes, OK, we're just going to show it and then not show it. So we get one call for paint and repaint. What's interesting is is that even with the, the nice animation, which I'll put back again, 
I don't have any GUI configuration for this, so I have to restart Plasma every time right now. Though, if it was once we have a GUI uh, to uh, to choose your animator, then you won't have to restart Plasma. So even though it's like very smooth right now, and I'm using very little, almost no CPU uh, to do this there's still a lot of, of uh, optimization work left to be done. I'm not caching any of the, the PIX maps, etc. So this is kind of a worst case scenario and it's already working pretty well. For animators, uh, you simply create single step processors. So you go, okay, animator says, you know what, we're halfway done showing this, so sh show me what, uh, render uh, um, uh, the element as if it was halfway there. And in this case, the default plugin renders it with 50% opacity, which gives us this nice little fade in, fade out effect. This also means that all around the desktop, all of our effects will be consistent. We won't have to have, we won't have to re-implement them over and over and over again. And they're simple enough to do that people should be able to use them uh, quite a bit. This is just one more way that we're hoping to make Plasma and the KDE 4 desktop in general that much more natural, that much more organic, and that much more fun to use. Thanks for watching and see you soon.